watch, watch, I'm telling you. Young brother in a nice ride. Tell you, gonna make up something. Let me pull up. Let me get this footage. I got a film there. Make sure the young brother's safe. I hey, don't care. All right, Deputy Van Der County Sheriff's Office. We need to pull over there. You're kind of sweeping back there. You like that? Work and join single lane. Okay. What are you headed to? Home? Can you turn it off real quick for him? Uh, where are you going? Home. Charles or George. Come up on me real quick. Another harassment. <laughs> yeah, and I have guns, drugs, or anything? No drugs, or anything like that? You should take your hands out your box, man. Can you turn around real quick? How old are you? 19. Okay. Hey, put your hands behind your back real quick, man. Hold on. Don't do that. What's happening, sir? Huh? Sir, what's happening? You're being detained. Wait, like, why? Don't do that. Why am I being detained? throwing marijuana in there. Don't sir, do that. Sir, th th that's not a reason to detain me, sir. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Have you found any sir? I smell it coming from inside the car. There's no marijuana. Right. Yeah, stop. Sir, have you found any? No. Sir, that is not a valid reason to detain me. Yes, sir. That is not a valid reason to detain me. Yeah, it is. All right. Sir, please. Is you're resisting please, right now. Stop it. Sir, please. please. Put your arm. Listen. Sir, but that is not a valid reason to You have not found a valid oh, reason to you. arrest me. Sir, you have not found. Hey. Sir, you have not found a valid reason Put your hands behind your back. That is not a reason to arrest me. Put your hands behind your back. That is not a reason to arrest me. Put your hands behind your back. That is not a reason to arrest me. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Least brutality, black on black crime, injustice. We gotta do something about this one. Dang. I gotta do something about this shit. I had them laughing yesterday. I tell a little girl, she flirting with the little boy. I said, You flirting with him now? I said, But 30 years from now, you probably don't wanna look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I look at all the features go change. Yeah, yeah. I said all the little girls that were real skinny, uh, 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 uh that were real fat, yeah. that you didn't want to talk to, they're gonna be built like a, uh, 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 man, they're gonna be built from ankles up right. when they get old. Right. And all, and all the ones that were real skinny, them the ones gonna be real yeah, big. Yeah, they gonna right. yeah, you know Time change. And all them little boys that you call nerds. That wore them bifocals in the classroom that, that you wouldn't give time a day, yeah. they're gonna be the ones you gotta go to to get a job. Uh, that's right. So you gotta like start treating now. each other right. That's right. Katrina is still one of the major acts of gentrification in American history. Um, people still ain't got their homes, new owners. You know, it's just like Katrina happened, then the housing crash happened. So like, dudes is never getting their houses back. Now it's like, you know, but we know that all that was orchestrated too. So, you know, so what happened? And like, like you say, going over to Ferguson, man, I say this, man, on the real, real, is that there comes a time, Malcolm said it, uh, he said, it's, well, I'm paraphrasing. He said, it's time to stop singing and start swinging. And, um, and, I, and I mean that, man, you know, and, and this doesn't even have to be like in terms of always a violent swing. Although, to be honest, I don't, you know, I, I'm not, I'm a man of peace, Jesus. I stand on peace. My work is on peace. You can check my track record all day. However, <laughs> however, it's time for the Black Panthers. 
We're being shot down in the street with military style equipment and we're still looking for peaceful, nonviolent ways out of this situation. We still appeal to government. We're still bringing our grievances to, to, to the courts. We can't get no justice in the courts. Seems like the, it's, this seems like the police are like out for, for African Americans, starting with the incarceration rate. I mean, I don't have to get into that, but half of us are locked up, got something to do with the Justice Department, and those of us who don't are just getting shot in the street. So what is that? That's all out war. Hopefully black kids are looking at Trayvon, looking at Mike Brown, looking at Amadou Diallo, looking at Rodney King, looking at, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope y'all looking at this. Maybe you do want to pull your pants up. I ain't got nothing against it, me personally. I, I you know, I, I think it's cute. I think it's a marketing idea personally. It should be marketing more underwear. But, 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 the, but the point is, is that nah, look, look at what they think of us. No, hip hop, the culture, break it, MC, graffiti writing, DJ, beatboxing, fashion, language, knowledge, our trade skills. These things are magnificent in the world. Let me show you. Years ago, they used to tell us, uh, when we say, yo, I'm an MC, they, they used to say, well, make sure you go, go to college to make sure that uh, if, if your MC career doesn't work, you have a college degree to fall back on. Today is the opposite. You say, I'm going to college. I advise you to learn how to MC in case your college degree doesn't work out. Too many college graduates with great minds are missing a great opportunity. Teachers included. Teachers don't get paid anything, we know this. The, the state of teacher salaries these days is ridiculous, okay? It's a whole nother crime. But I would advise teachers and students, become a DJ, become an MC, become a B-boy or B-girl, become a graffiti writer. Take our elements, our elements are no longer entertainment pastimes. Even for people like me that would do it regularly, like even if I, if I was a mailman, I'd be, I'd be spitting raw, something, I'd be drawing, I'd be doing something. But I also recognize that hip hop is a way to sustain your whole family. You can send kids to college on hip hop now. You know, and not celebrity. This is the most important message to get across to everybody out there. This is not about celebrity. This is about skills. The globe pays for skill. The globe doesn't pay for celebrity. Everybody outside the United States can't stand that mainstream shit. Although, a lot of it is dope. People go out, out uh, you know, mainstream artists of all sorts play all over the world. But I'm talking about a lifestyle where you could raise family, not a job, not you got tour managers and this, that, and the other, not all that. I'm talking about like the way you go to school to be a doctor, you come out and you live a doctor's life. You go to school to be a lawyer, you come out, you live a lawyer's life, a chef's life, a, a businessman, a woman's life. Well, there's a hip hop life that you can learn to live and it, it raises your self-worth. That once China hears your skill, they're paying for you. Once you, the UK, first of all, Europe and the UK, when they hear you and like you, the UK, France, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Greece, they don't care who you are. If your shit is dope, you gonna get money in Europe. And at times, once you can spit MC and you got something to say when people's like, yo, I feel what this dude is on right now, I feel that shit. Or you a DJ, one of our easiest elements, it's not easy, to cut, mix, and scratch, but it is the easiest of the hip hop elements. A school teacher, a woman, Irish 55 year old math teacher can learn how to DJ and go supplement her salary in Indonesia somewhere and have Indonesia pay for her to be there too. Okay, we travel all over the world. Hip hop is huge all over the globe.
Okay, you travel anywhere you want, you go anywhere you want. The, the, what people like the most about America is hip hop. When you go in the world, okay, now America might be fronted, but when you go in the world, what people like the most about America is hip hop. She just hit me in the head. Why do I feel like I'm having an out of body experience? And who is this God? The creative mind? So I want to put together some shows and concerts and whatnot, you know. So I asked my partner Tay if he'd drop off some cash to low key, man, so we can get this thing rolling. Y'all know y'all have seen Pow Wow around the world. I'm making my new debut with my beard. My new debut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> definitely, man. Much love. Y'all ain't ripped the city, man. Brother Blue, Lean, Muhammad, man. Y'all ain't been down on the team. Something different. One family, one love. It don't stop. Y'all know what it is, man. 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 Y'all know what it is, The enticing nature of the woman. I saw Eve on stage with the coon docks and I wondered. Did she use the power of her body to entice Adam to eat the fruit? I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. I'm Erica, but I do also know that Badula Oblak Adam, also known as Cerebellum, also known as Analog Girl and Digital World, okay, player, also known as Fat, at Fat Belly Bella, whatever. Also known as Manuela from Real Mexico, also known as She Hill, also known as Mary Magdalene. We swing wild, yeah, that's our step. Knocking those down, flipping pronouns. This that ain't time. Mad that I got out the game. Turned the negative to a positive. I gotta watch my back. God is. Damn, what's going on? Is this you? For those who don't know, I'm sitting here with a person who, out of Houston, who a uh, platinum uh, artist who uh, wrote and produced the what you're looking at for Whitney Houston. What was that like to be around that atmosphere with uh, Sister Whitney? Um, I guess it was surreal because, and then it was different for me because, or it wasn't different for me because, um, I guess the my nature, it, I think, is even to this day. 
I just work. I don't care about you know celebrity and who it is, and I I don't right. get off into those things and, right. and never did. Right. And it was like when I was around her, it was almost like. Other people had to continue to remind me that hey, you working with Whitney? <laughs> you know, right. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you, you like. Know? And uh, and I'm not saying that to sound like I'm hard or nothing like that, but just to say that I always was about the music, about the final product, and uh, just to to attest to what I'm saying. When I first got in the studio with her and and uh, uh, begin the process of producing like I normally was doing uh, prior to starting a session with her um, I was beating her down in other words I was asking her to repeat it over and do it over and oh okay let's try this oh let's try that I was giving her an energy that I think she had long forgotten about right so she was a celebrity now and now she's meeting an energetic producer that don't care about who she is right he just wants a good final product. <laughs> Something that bothers me right now. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Us, our young black women and girls, are the most taken and sex trafficked in the world. But every Amber Alert is for the white girl. I'm tired of that. Why? Why? Yeah. And, that, and you don't think our daughters are reported? Hello, our daughters are reported every five seconds. But they not Amber Alert. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. At all. You understand what I'm saying? That bothers me. Why did the Amber Alert come on my phone when I'm doing something positive and it wasn't about one of my sisters? What we need to do about it more important. It is important because we got to come together. If we don't come together, it ain't going to happen. Because they don't care about us. They see we don't care about each other. We care about each other. Then they ain't going to have no choice but to do something about it. We got to get our house in order. Because let me tell you something. Let me just say it. I'm going to tell you. It bothers you, but it bothers me who's in presence. But at the end of the day, we are responsible for us. I think I, we grew up, I grew up with parents who said they had to laugh to keep them crying. I think it was the only, I think uh, laughter is the only kind of, one of the only involuntary actions, like you laugh whether you want to or not. I think it's just uh, something somebody takes from you. So I think now it's even more, uh, I think irony is more in, in self-deprecation a problem if you, uh, you get somebody's, a sense of irony and somebody's uh, self-deprecation is, is probably the true greatest uh, elements of humanity. Okay, all right. Uh, what role, if any, do you think comedians or entertainers in general should play in social change? I think comedians are like cameras. Uh, I think we take the pictures and people discern what they mean. I think that uh, um, there's a tendency to only want to hear the things that you think edify your position. I think a comic's job as an artist it's to make people, people see a start Speaking of edifying, let me go talk to Black World historian and keeper of the Akashic Records. This is a, a female tribe. It still exists in Africa right now, and that's, and that's the way they dress. That's their normal gear. They are, they, they call them, they, they are uh, uh, African women of, 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 uh, of, uh, they, they, as a matter of fact, they have all of this, all of this right here is still going on because they are still a proud, a proud people. They refuse to change because they're saying that this tops martyrdom because it tells you the basics of how they exist and who they are. Right. That's it tells true. you, it gives you the, it gives you the strength of a woman. She can be a warrior and she can be a mother. After talking to the historian, I realized. If I can find the relics of great men who live, who created those relics from Mother Earth, I can harness that energy to aid us in bringing peace on Earth. Hey, it's worth a shot. While doing my research on the staff of Moses, 
I was wondering, man, uh, could this be real or is this legend? So me and my wife, we sitting out on the waters having us a nice meal. And I'm thinking, is this the staff that Gaspar Yanga found in the mountains of Mexico and use it to defeat the Spaniards? Does this staff have uh, any powers, you know? But I start seeing paintings. And things start flashing right before me. And the days to start getting funny, you know? And it's like, man, am I getting close to the staff? I'm seeing images of me. It was kind of weird, you know? But deep down in my heart, I felt like it was calling me. Say, Blade, what's up, man? Look, tomorrow I gotta go pick up that staff of Moses, bro. Yeah, if you could, man, be around, man. I know gonna be a lot of people trying to get their hands on you. Know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, come in for the bag up. Yo, all right, done deal. Yeah, I take your time and play. Sure. Hey, Taino, I need you to locate the staff of Moses. Uh, they were last seen in Mexico with the Moshika tribe. Hey, uh, la estatua de Moisés está en México. Uh, Mochica. Mochica en México. Ok. La vera de Moses lo trajeron a mí. Jasper Younger lo usó para derrotar los españoles que dio México en primer ciudad gratis. No sé dónde está la vera, pero va a costar. 175 millones de dólares y lo entrega a ti. Yo, how them numbers look? The numbers looking good. Oh, yeah, good. Well, look, I got to run. I'm going to check out in a minute, though. All right. Yeah, we making that money. <laughs> man, what's up? Yeah, man, I'm just coming from the Eagles parade. They did it. Championship, first ever. We did it, man. We did it. Yeah, man, but I was just calling you real quick to let you know about this brother named Horace, young brother from the Omeg tribe, man, and he is doing big things. You got to check him out, man. Yeah, man, I'm fucked up on these legals, but I'll have to call you and tell you about that. All right. Okay. Well, I'll holler at you. All right. Come on. Fly, Evo, fly, on the road to victory. Also, my partner in Philly, you know, they do this genealogy research, right? Okay. And they tracked you down to the Omeg tribe in a South and Central America, in Veracruz, right? right? So what we doing is, man, we going around the country uniting with cats that got royal blood that understand the need to build who are natural rules, right? So, man, uh, I know you out there grinding, doing your thing, right? But I'd appreciate it, man, if you check out what we got in you like what you see, you might join on with us and use that supply and demand skills okay. you got, bro, and help yeah. us build an empire, you know what I mean, on the other side of the game, you know? Sure. What you think, bro? It, 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 it's hard to do right, man, but this is where I was born, man. This is how, this is how I came up, so yeah. it's all I know, but if you yeah. say it's going to be legit, man, and if you buy money, it's all I'm here for. So, man, ain't trust me, bro. We finna get this paper pretty good, man. So, so I'm ready, man. I love, man. You probably don't know what I can get on with like this, so. Yo, man, appreciate you, God. That was up, man. What's going on? Fine, ho. More crap for my stairs. Black 
So while I'm searching for this sacred artifact, and also I got this detective who's trying to stop the rise of his own people, I like to get out and interview people who's doing great works in their community, which makes them everyday people. That's all part of what I believe is post-traumatic slave syndrome. Uh, this is not the first time in American history that black men have been hung, crucified before they had a chance to go to a jury. So uh, uh, that's nothing new. Uh, I believe that we as a people have to start respecting black lives to a level that has never been before, especially the young black male. No, man, listen to what I'm saying. The people up top, they upset right now because they losing money. No, because the less packed the jails are, the less money that's coming in. You understand what I'm saying? That mean they losing money. So what they need us to do, put those people back on the street. Oh, I'm working with a detective now. Uh, they need them back on the streets. Because if there's no crimes, there's no overtime, which means there's less money in their pockets. No, so what they're saying is, they're gonna have to go out and make a decision. Do we choose the you, or do we choose our pockets? And last I heard, the pockets was winning. Ain't nobody choosing no you over no money in their pockets. Just ain't happening. That's what's up, bro. All right, then, well, you do what you need to do. All right, we're going to handle that, though. All right, bet, bet. What's good, Black? Oh, man, this is our girl. I got this issue with you tomorrow. We're going to sit down, man, and take care of something. But if everything don't come out right, I'm gonna need you and the crew, man, to go handle up on that, man, and take him out. Because one person can't stop the show, but it's good. Oh, for sure, man. You know I got you. Low. I'm the boat, I'm 
guilty, cause I got it guilty And the band's so bone to turn Spirit seed got some rank and some trees to burn We gon' party till we pass out Bugging the flow, and if you didn't come to party What you come here for? Tonight, baby In the fact, tonight we don't hit the set. Respect for love dripping wet. And if I say my check, they just play this and sweat. Winning, 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 winning. Winnin I am winning, 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 winning. Winnin we are winning, 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 winning. I am. So I feel like the ghost when I float on Mary J. Perry and the ounce of the hairs. Low key, the only flower that you know. Skip trawling that ass. You better pray, cause I'm click with the Masons. Cop a squat, roll the pot, then shit on the Matrix. Leave this bitch without a courtesy flush. Electric Kool Aid mixed in the punch while you burning the dust. Everybody passed out on the floor. Like a mad suicide, back alive to ride out to the store. Hit the door, need a box of them papers. Red stripe, yeah, the taste of Jamaica and one of them favorites. Okay, okay, okay. Back to the Amityville block, you should've known. Dress fresh to impress from my head to my toes. You, me, we super dope, and they know we young ones. If you feel how I feel, you winning and then some, nigga. Winning, 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 winning. I am. Some bikes, man. It's like who sold the most candy or whatever, man. They get a prize. We donate the prize. Yeah, Black Diamond and Associates. Yeah, they gotta keep things moving. Today we had a chocolate fundraiser we were raising money for, and I'm gonna let Miss Lisa in so you can uh, share what we were raising money for. So, Army School Discovery is trying to raise funds for a new um, system of bleaches for our uh, gym and also a new outdoor. Uh, Weightlifting facility in our uh, outside playground area. So our top two sellers were Isla, our top seller, and then Alexandra Wells, our second top seller. Anyway, what, what, what was we talking about? Let's, let's get back to bed. What was you saying again? 
What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm doing better, man. They tried to take me out. Tried to electrocute me. Oh, tried to electrocute me. Yeah, yeah. Pumping me up full of oxygen. Look. I'm tired, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I had to fight back. Take them out. Yeah. Both of them. You know where the spot at? Yeah. I don't had enough. We can't let them stop a good thing. It's beneficial for everybody, for the people, and they getting in the way. You know who they working for. I don't care. Yeah. Eliminate the problem. All right, you know what spot? All right, baby. Man, 
Blake, get a word. We on that too. You know if we get you up. Man, if you want it, I got it. If I don't got it, I can get it. I'm going to get it while it getting good. You know what I'm saying? Peace out, man. All right. Peace to you, man. You know. We in like a cloud spaceship. Cruise here, no evil, speak no evil, irritated by nonsense. Get some smelling salt and salt. These boys live in our conscience. Dope man used to slang crack, now he slang rap, preaching our pollution with that gang bang trap. Entertainers is role models, success is the gold bottles, gold chains make it rain just to make hoes holler. House nigga don't speak for us, money got them gone. Represent your hood. Oh. You asking who's in the body bags? The one with the hat. That's the detective. How you gonna come in the middle and try to stop the rise of your own people? And the other one with the camouflage jacket? That's one of Blue's soldiers. He tased me on my job. And I tried to let it go, but he just kept talking and running his mouth and just wouldn't let it go. So there you have it. You know what it's like. But stay by master home. I always run to your crone. Well, the cause of the hill. You free in these streets. Where you wet? Where you wet? Bring your beats in these streets. Where you wet? Where you wet? Stacking G's in these streets. Where you wet? Where you wet? If your knowledge is complete. Where you wet? Where you wet? You free in these streets. Where you wet? Where you wet? Bring your beats in these streets. Where you wet? Where you wet? Stacking G's in these streets. Where you wet? Where you wet? If your knowledge is complete, where you wet? Where you wet? West side, west side, big city and lights. West side, H town, we keep it popping at night. And some foreign wood grain, little seats with the tilt. I work in the whip with the bomb for kit. West side, west side, big city and lights. West side, H town, we keep it popping at night. And some foreign wood grain, little seats with the tilt. I work in the whip with the bomb for kit. West side, the realest, back in the gap. Part of your Kempwood village. True rappers on the MIC. Romeo Poet and Rapper D. I was a young G. Decide where the gangs was formed. Money was flowing. I had to get me some. Right? So after fighting with the red dragon for position of the staff, it starts to pour down rain. And I'm headed to the master of electricity so he can tell me the energy levels within the staff because when I first retrieved the staff, I felt a, a jolt of power. Yeah, boy, he's reading a little high energy level right there, man. Uh -huh. That is uh, real high right there. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Not from his room. Yeah, um, it's reading um, the way it's reading. It's full proton. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. No neutron, no electron. It's full yeah. proton, man. Yeah. Man, I figured something was up, man, because when I got it, man, and 
we got into with the Red Dragon Clan, the power, man. I mean, it was stopping folks in this tracks, bro. But you know, I like to know what I'm dealing with, what I'm getting involved in, bro. What yeah. kind of power this thing got, man. I'm going to take it to the limit. That's what you're dealing with, bro. You're dealing with full folks, man. Motherfucking life. I need the light the many stars above. Needs the setting of the sky. I need the light the hours of the day. Needs the time to pass by. What I need the more than ever. So hear my humble cry. I need. Jumped out the woods, bro, and tried to take the staff from him. Boy. Yeah, me and Low Key, we walking, just retrieved it. I got it from Brother Brian. He flew out of Mexico to pick it up in front of Moses Secret Tribe, right? And I wanted the staff of Moses because the power, the energy that I heard in the tales of Gaspar Yanga having the staff, right? So I was like, man, yeah, we can use this for this fight, man. We got in these streets, man, to bring back these ancient artifacts. That's connected with the people, man. That can really raise them up. You know what I mean? That we can benefit from. So I was like, man, let me hit Saber the Blade, man. So we can come out, bro. You know what I mean? On that defense, bro. So we needed to do. But that went down. Well, you know, I'm dealing with these dragons. Mm -hmm. Man, head ain't right still after right. all these years. Come on. So we in this battle for the minds of the people. Right. He want the wrong way, I want the right way. You know how it go. There you go. The good must prevail. We can't stop this fight, bro. You on that path. I appreciate that, man. And I'm down with you. I got your back. Let's make it happen. For the good of the land and the people. I'm with you, bro. But look, I found another artifact from King Nicholas, right? out here in these streets. It's not like what you learned out in Cadet Academy. I'm ready. Ready? Well, you just got off the titty yesterday. And you better be ready to walk. Because this case here, this case is my ticket to lead detective. And I'm taking you with me, rookie. Don't worry. I got this. All of my time in the field prepared me for this day. And I didn't waste a moment. So, what's the intel on the case? <laughs> the intel on the case? Look at you. All right. All right. My superior and mentor was found dead in the woods next to some street thug named Man. So far, we have a body, we have a location, and the X over Y. We need to get the equation now. Yeah, I, I heard about your partner. Sorry that happened to him. I mean, it's terrible how people can just destroy their lives like that. In such a heinous fashion. It really is a damn shame, but we'll figure it out. Yes, we will. Well, please believe. Let's rock and roll. What's up, 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 what's up,
Yo, so my partner Tay invited me to the spot in Third Ward to introduce me to this up and coming young singer named Zandy. Got a hot song called You. So I wanted to sit down and check it out to see if it was what he said it was. And also, I wanted to interview and, you know, see what uh, her mindset was. So sat down and prepared to do the jam and I'm anticipating because you know I hear a lot of people saying that you know a lot of people got talent so I, I really want to see for myself what she had. for bringing this new talent to us man definitely she's representing the trade she has skills a young up and coming artist man she has a voice she has a look so i'm looking to see great things come from her you know we're gonna have to put her on verbal peak radio get her down with a tone productions and definitely man make something big happen man uh definitely i enjoyed the experience i wish her much luck hey sam it's jones Looking through the surveillance photos, I think I identified the place where uh, he hangs out. I'll text you the address. Come in, we can walk in. All right. Good. 
They say I'm hostile, is the economy that's possible? It is, get money, I do dues to do the run of me. Gotta make that bread and don't fake dead. Gotta bake that cake, gotta grill that steak, I said. Only option is to do for self. My commission is tough, taking boys to school for tiny tuitions. Yeah, the industry co signed the dumb shit, but I'm mud. I underwrite the real and the tight. Hey, Going into shop. He losing his mind, man. He's going under the spell. He's not himself. Package will possess you if the ritual is not done. I saw sirens, police jumped out, smashed on the gas, that's what I thought, not right now, don't wanna get shot, search my ride, looking for the dope, I don't ride dirty, nope, 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 then I thought, what was it worth, thought I had gold, it was just dirt, played by the system, I didn't listen, set up from the start, corrupt that system, black man pain, new campaign, drop some knowledge, change the game. So I went to club 1960 to meet with Low Key, he told me that he knew of a young median who can help you find things that was lost. And you know, I was on a search for the next of king nigga, so I needed that person's aid. And we sat around the club and we chopped it up for a minute, talking about life and, you know, things of that nature and, you know, how we can improve society and whatnot, you know, and jam to some tunes. So the next day, I went and met with the medium and she gave me the intel and she gave me instructions and a riddle on where I could find the necklace of king niggas. To feel like a sire or lead the choir. Let me take you on a spiritual journey. So listen close and talk with actual facts. Cause I don't believe in no ghosts. My soul been around for me. I got the location, longitude and latitude. I'm on the path. Walking down the pillared path. King niggas back in the 1500s when Prophet Muhammad uh, was starting the religion of Islam, he was an Ethiopian king. And the niggas in those times meant one worthy of praise and one praise much. 
So now, as I search for this 90 degree angle, I'm actually thinking, man, I hope this legend is true. I hope the necklace is still there. After 400 and something odd years. No pain, no gain. I struck gold. That's a lick. Lick is a king lick. I found it. I found it. I found the niggas of King Lee. Made from the baobab tree. It's on. Ah. Yo. It's on now. A traveler, where you can I go? To the highest mountain, or to the hill below? To your deep desires, and what lights your fire? To feel like a sire, or lead the choir? Maybe highest fire, where you can I go? To the highest I'm sitting outside his house right now. We found him. Yeah, I, I found black. Yeah, we here. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm in position right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm ready to go ahead and take him out for Killer Matt. Just give me the word. Yeah. I crossed this necklace man out in the woods, bro. This is Nicholas the King Nigga. It was made from the Baobab tree. The same with the stamp was, right? I'm going to take that energy, man. Combine that energy, bro. Oh, yeah. I got you. You're now, black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? Say, bro. Hold up, man. Damn, dude, how you running up on me like that, bro? Man, we supposed to be working together, bro. You know what I mean? I know Gino sent you, bro. But tell him, look here, man. I made him promise. We're going to work together on this spiritual issue, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go and make something happen, bro. Thank you for going on, bro. Thanks for going on, man. Good to see you, guys. What's that, bro? You ready to be trained now? Absolutely. Excellent, bro. Absolutely. After that, we're going to chop it up, man, on this mill. Okay. The thing you telling me about. Yes, sir. All right, done deal. Anything you need, bro. So after Red Dragon helps me take down one of Gino's hitchmen, I invite him to the crib, man, so we can dialogue and unite and see how we can build together and come up with solutions so we can attack these streets. Three, five, and actually four, save myself. Five, five, six, five, For them detectives seven, I heard was hot on my trail. Five, so I asked him, man, if he can teach the youth in the neighborhood some moves so they can protect themselves. Strong mind, strong body. Frequency in sync with the universe. Yeah, we move. We definitely move. See the youth. That's what the youth need. They need that power, they need that strength, they need a strong mind, they need to communicate with each other, they need unity, they need to be in tune with the universe, they need to be quick thinking, fast moving, right down to the moderate time. I mean, we definitely on a mission. You gotta be prepared, you gotta be ready. You can't let them see you sweat, but you got to go get what's yours. Nobody gonna give it to you. Great. Yeah, me too. It's been a real dignified. Oh, it's been a great day. 
It's so nice outside. Oh yeah. And peaceful. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah it felt so good. I almost peed inside the building. <laughs> it's so crazy. Let it waft and break. Cutting their overtime hours, they saying we we affecting the jail system because they want these kids at an early age to have a pipeline right to the system so they can make some money. You know what I mean? But then I was always taught, man, each one teach one, and once you know better, you do better. Once you drop the knowledge, so you know, so we tackle that. Well, this this is our official think tank, right? So we finna we finna uh. Pontificate on the subject, <laughs> like you say, man. Oh, so, oh yeah, and by the way, man, you just thank him, sir. Hey, appreciate that. Yeah, y'all, y'all rock that, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. You know, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Pebbles, Pebbles, you know, this is before the Trump election, you know, and hey, you predicted it, though. You know, hey, we gotta do it, we gotta do it now, you know, it, it's real. Like that. That's right. mm-hmm. But um, for the most part, man, what 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 course of action do y'all believe we should take? Uh, you know, because some saying, I mean, and, and coming from uh, what they say, the feminine energy, uh, should is should we uh, attack this situation with care, love, and concern, or should we bring the hammer down? You know what I mean? Snatch him up, hey. You know what I mean? Hey, you got you got to get this thing right. You know, uh, it's too many uh, innocent murders out in the street. It's too much going on with, you know, within the communities for forced crime dealing with the elderly because I'm getting uh, the elderly saying that they don't even like come outside their houses no more. But, but it, could we say, damn, well, what did you do when you were younger to help curb this thing? And are you, or is this a repercussion? I don't know, but. When, when, when I'm saying when we step out there, we got to be ready to deal with these issues at hand, you know, and use our people, because I know you got a following, you got a group of people, you know, that's out there, you know, you got a group that's out there, you know, I got my people out there, and so we want to have them prepared and on with the right now, so we don't waste no time, you know, quick thinking, fast moving right now to the modern time, so. This doctor's a pretty And I'm behind the barrel Cause my hand is steady And I'm real serious I don't think This particular topic that we're discussing Is about a young lady named Jennifer Jeffrey Who at the age of 15 years old uh, She was falsely accused of murder She was in the 8th grade She was taking the advice of an evil moon dragon Which was 24 years old Who said that to who stated to her to tell the police that she was with her at the time or that they were together. And so as a 15-year-old who was instructed that your family could be in danger, you could only imagine what would go, what went through her mind. Uh, she was confused, uh, distraught, uh, as an impressionable mind as a young 15-year-old 8th grader. She was held down to the police station with no uh, legal uh, representation, no parent uh, present, or no legal guardian. We have the mother, Jackie Jeffrey. I'd like to welcome you to the show. And her daughter, which is Jennifer Jeffrey's sister, and can you say your name for the camera? Karen. And Karen Jeffrey. I want to delve into this story and what took place 
but we actually want to get to some uh, very important facts. When you're dealing with the Miranda Law, the purpose of having counsel present is simply because so the person can understand that uh, their rights. The city of Houston done a disservice to a citizen of the United States of America, 15 years old, in the eighth grade, going up against professional cops. That would not stand a chance. We want you all to get involved in this case. I want to thank Hip Hop for Justice for their interest. This is not only a crime against Jennifer Jeffrey, but against humanity as a whole. They did not exhaust all of the evidence. You can't just uh, convict someone on a written statement uh, that was typed up by the police and a promise that you can, you'll be able to go home if you sign this confession. And you got to think of a 15-year-old mind. You have to understand that I'm missing my bed. I'm missing my family. I want to eat a meal at the table with my family. She didn't stop and say, wait a minute, uh, explain that. You know, I'm, I'm 15, I'm in eighth grade. I'm, you know, I'm facing these giants. This is something that uh, the community, but America as a whole, needs to get involved in. We give our vote, and you say that we are a nation of laws, but you go back to an old Jim Crow South or the Black Coast to where you can snatch up a black person off the streets and hide them away and nothing will be said or done. And, and what's appalling is that the legal defense, they understand this. Then with Ernesto Miranda, Miranda who, who it was named after, he, his rights was violated because they said that he didn't understand his rights. Nobody said, no legal counsel instructed him on what his rights was. Therefore, if he didn't understand his rights, and how you gonna put me behind bars for the pain of all mothers, especially black black mothers, but mothers in particular, you know, uh, to to miss a time away from a, a child is heartbreaking within itself. We can understand that, but but as a as a as a human being, uh, how can I look myself in the mirror knowing that injustice was done and not say anything? Bad things happen when good people. Do nothing. If we saying that this is a society of Christians, Muslims, Jews, whatever the denominations that may be, and we sit back and allow injustice to take place, then what does this say about our society? This was 21 years ago. She's been in since she was 15, 21 years later, and still is there, and her rights was violated. And it, it upsets me because this should not happen in what they call the land of the free and the home of the brave. What happened was um, we had just recently moved into that apartment complex. By been living there for about three months, and uh, she met this friend Eva a few months, few weeks before the crime happened. And Eva befriended her. I mean, Eva. I met Eva. Eva came out and said, "You know, Jennifer's like a little sister." Right. So with that being said, I'm like, "Well, help me keep Jennifer in school because that's important. She has to go to school." Well, Jennifer um, hung out with Eva so much on this day of the crime. Jennifer spent the night at Eva's house. And um, the next morning, Jennifer was swept away by the police. I had no idea. The black community. When you don't see certain things enough times, when positive things become infrequent, it feel, it's replaced with something else, negative things. So the more you see negative, the more frequent negative comes, the more natural it becomes. And so it's no longer a situation, it's a reality. And you spoke of breaking out of it. You don't break out of something that you're comfortably dysfunctional in. If it's comfortable for you, no one can tell you that it's wrong. Right. So when I say increase the frequency of it, Show them a different reality, but don't show it to them at the Double Tree. I'm speaking here in, in six weeks, come see me, buy a ticket. And I'm going to be here in, in, in San Antonio, come see me there in six weeks, buy a ticket. Um, I'm very active in the Acres Homes community through my church because I need to, people to understand, especially young black men, that you can live. You do have a voice, so speak. So someone else sees it, so you then inspire, and then you grow. Right. We don't move past our situation and circumstances. We move through them. So while we were out in the neighborhood chopping it up about life, a Muslim brother 
appeared and gave us a final call and introduced himself as Muhammad. And he was talking to us about how we need to own our own businesses and how we need to build and how we need to own land and feed ourselves and clothe ourselves, right? And, you know, it gave us a lot to think about, you know, just the reality of life. You know, we asked some questions that we asked and everybody was curious and it felt like, you know, the knowledge, you know, knowledge started flowing. Because if, if we don't look, all these things are against us. The government, the teachers, everything that they've set up has been set up on our backs and it's been set up against us. So if we don't wake up to that fact, we'll be forced to the fact. When, 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 when the food supply runs short, where are we going to go get our food? Muhammad's Mars, number 45, Nation of Islam. All right, y'all have a nice day, good brother. What's up, blood? What's up, brother? Look here, man. I need to find the feathers of my ancestor, John Horse, right? So I need to meditate, man, and get in that zone where I can reach him out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yes, got sir. anything, man, that can help me out, bro? Yes, sir. Yeah. This is what you want right here. Yeah. So, Francis and Murray, brother. Frankincense and Murray. Yeah. That's what's up, though. You know oh, yeah? Ancient times, ancient Africa. <laughs> That's what I need, man. Yeah, yes, definitely, man. I'm on that mission. I got to get that warrior spirit now. I bro. hear that. You know what I mean? We did it these times, bro. Yeah. bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got it. That's what's up. Next time, your ass will remember. Damn, did she just hit me in the head and left me for dead? Why do I feel like I'm having an out of body experience? I see the goddess. Is this the vision? John Horse, the feathers, the war spirit, they talking to me. So I went out to talk with a medium to find the feathers of my ancestor, John Hooks. She told me to reach out to the ancestors for answers and also to go visit my father's grave. And it was like, I went on an epiphany or something. You know? I think then I was on my way.
I have attained some of the most powerful relics from all over the globe. I fight against flesh and blood, plus spiritual wickedness in high places, but I'm ready for the war. You need more than cocaine and weed. What you need? Everyday people frequency and get some alchemy. Chase it with some spirit, see? I peek my head through the matrix. I saw guards looking black like me. More than cocaine and weed. What you need? Everyday people frequency and get some alchemy. Chase it with some spirit, see? I peek my head through the matrix. I saw guards looking black like me. Turn the water to wine, lead to go, don't make control, ain't no need to sell my soul. Thoughts go back, plus the three years ago. Yeah, my father's goes back, just that many more. So ain't nothing you can tell me, ain't seen already. Running in the house, I worry and sweat it. Lows on your back, you ain't know what to do. So you live them to your place, damn fool, you know all they gotta do is sit and wait. But before they come in, put some knowledge on your plate. Don't make a mistake, another statistic. Caught in the game, crime scene ballistics. Bro, you know you did. Like, like you never did. Caught with some lead. You know how the gang go, you hear what they say. You need more than cocaine and weed. What you need? Everyday people frequency and get some alchemy. Chase it with some spirit, see? I peek my head through the matrix, I saw guards looking black.